open field. First move, computer one. Draw card. Begin duel. Computer one, mana charge. Computer two, draw card. Mana charge. And round two, let's see if computer two computer is one, draw card. a little bit smarter than mana last charge. week and will avoid attacking two, something which can card. cleave it into fif 15 parts. Mana charge. Not once, but twice. Computer one, <sighs> draw card. Mana charge. Mana release. Ah, computer one wins the roll off this week. Okay then. Bamboo gatekeeper. Nicely staking claim down here. Interestingly enough, the bylith field is in the bottom row and not in the centre. Sentry slightly less powerful. Summon. In that regard, if one comes out. Grab on the ship, mate. I'm gonna claim first bit of damage. Attack. Slap. That mole gatekeeper cares not for your flipping tree. Computer one. Draw card. Mana charge. Mana release. Summon. And we have an early flail monger. Yes, he is protected by a summoning lock, and you can't summon him under normal circumstances. However, as we know with uh, the summoning lock, if you summon onto the field which the creature belongs to, the summoning lock does not apply. He is summoned under Byleth. He is a Byleth. Therefore, no summoning lock. Computer 2 reacts with Rage Flame Spitter. We are just claiming either sides of the board. Unlocked. Also remember that the two fields in front of the Flailmonger are increased Draw summoning card. cost. Mana charge. Mana release. Summon. Well, that Rage Flame Spitter should have only cost one. It cost three in this regard, and so will the center square if computer two summons onto that. Okay. Computer one, on the other hand, is going to take some Cloud Runner Marauder and smite these expensive spitters. Now this happened last week, and I still can't remember why it happened, so I'm gonna remember. Because obviously she's died there because she's on an opposite element. Elven the Soul Hunter is destroyed and a non-wood field. Take any one creature from your graveyard with three or less summoning cost that is not the Elven Soul Hunter or an Ultra Rare and shuffle it into your library. But what has Computer 2 lost? Oh no. Slumber Trap, which means that Computer 2 has Scion Triumphant, a Dwarf Miner, an Architect, a Sentry, Prototype Bearmoth, and Pollux in his hand. And something else. Which I didn't see. That is a lot of pain. Computer 2, draw card. Computer 2 why are you so dumb? Summon some pain! Mana release. Is that Summon. pain? Barrager! That's pain! Barrager attacks Attack. an adjacent target twice. If it attacks a ranged target, it attacks it once. Which in this case is enough. Mana charge. 
He's also in a nice position to start whittling down that Flowermonger next turn. It'll only cost him one to reactivate it as well. That's quite good. And it'll attack twice, doing two damage for one cost. That's pretty good. That for the ship, mate, was still dealing with the crap creatures. Oh, that puts computer wanting to check. You've got to kill something. Mana charge. Mana You've got the mana for it. Mana Rotating. Release. And the one cost to activate it. So that's two attacks onto the slumber trap. Still got one health. And there's Computer 2 Slumber Trap. So what is Computer 1 holding? He has Pollux, Sum uh, Scion Triumphant. He has Castor. We have a Dioscori chance. That is a Queen's Courier, Prototype Bear Morph, and a Ninja Fate Enhancer spell. Attack. I strongly doubt we're going to see a Dioscori. <laughs> But it's always fun to know that the opportunity is there. Monitor. Dead slumber trap, putting computer one into prime position to computer one. Well, computer one has to kill. Monitor. Interestingly enough, to remember that slumber trap should Monitor cost one. Release. It costs three because he summoned in front of Barrage. Always fun to remember. Okay. Mana release. Oh, there's a big cost. Summon. Here's Pollux. One half of the score is here. And I assume okay. he's going to finish them off. He is. Magic creature. Actually, not that many for magic creatures in the deck. There's him, an Illusion Prioress. Skyrim Triumphant is magical. Mana charge. I think that's it. Check. Computer two. Yeah, everyone is. Draw yeah. Hard. Computer Mana 2, charge. you need to kill. Mana release. I'm guessing this is going to be attempting to kill the ship, mate. Ah, there's Caster. Computer 2's caster, it's not Computer 1's though. That'll be enough. Pew 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 pew, die to lightning. Victory for Castor! Mana charge. Check. Computer 1. Draw card. It one has Mana to kill. Mana release. Summon. There's Caster. They're not together. This displeases me. Attack. Oh well. I'm gonna attack the slumber trap for two and get a bonus damage because he's hit in the line spot. Oh, we were close to a Dioscori, guys. It didn't happen. Check. Computer, Computer 2 just doesn't have the bloody mana Draw for it. Mana charge. Computer 2! Mana release. Attack. Okay. Going for a double attack onto the Cloud Runner Marauders. It's going to take them down to... Oh, sorry, a single attack, because it's a ranged target. I was going to take them down to three. Mana oh, did release. it? Oh, no. Attack. I'm confused. It's down to two, anyway. <laughs> and then he's reactivating the... shipmates to attack Pollux. 
discard. Discard. Discard an illusion regeneration. What is your game? Computer one. Draw Nothing. Mana okay. Card. Mana release. I guess computer one will win then. <laughs> was a little Sorry. bit question questionable. We were close to a day scory. Attack. But once again, it didn't happen. One day it will happen. And on that day it shall be glorious. Regardless of whether or not the Ascori actually does anything, just having him will be immense. 